on open subdivisions, again, it's just a different algorithm from Turbo Smooth. So the way we control the smoothing is going to be different. Open subdivisions is an open source algorithm that, or open source code that has been included in 3ds Max. Okay, when we do the open subdivisions, you can see it looks different. It doesn't show the same polygon structure, but if you go to, if you turn off isolone line display, it'll actually look very much like the turbo smooth, like this. So isoline on looks like that. Okay, but the way that we control this is with not with adding more edges necessarily. We focus a lot more on crease settings. So inside of an edit poly, you, each edge has a crease setting. If you go into edge sub-object mode and go down here, you'll see crease, you can set that to one. And then when we smooth, now you can see our crease coming in there, right there. Okay. So th that's built into the edit poly to be able to do that. That can get hard to manage. So we're gonna look at another way to do it. And, and that's really just telling it how sharp we want that edge to be. So we can, okay, let's look at it as an example. So we can control A, select all edges, set all creases to one, and then go to the open subdivision. Now we have a crisp box instead of the kind of uh, sphere looking thing that we had, the squashed sphere. Okay, so you can see there's a little bit of stretching going on here because we don't have enough geometry in here to tell open subdivision what we want it to do. So with turbo smooth we actually control how it smooths with the edges here we just need to add a little bit of extra information so that it can smooth a little better maybe maybe just doing that will do the trick so you can see there's less stretching going on here now okay and you can see that there's actually a lot of geometry going on here but it can be a lot easier than going in and trying to manage all your edge loops. Let's do this loop and chamfer this. Okay, you can see I created new edges that don't have the, the same crease on them. So make sure all the creases are one. Okay, so there you have a nice crisp looking box with not too much geometry going on. Okay, now this is really nice when you want to do something like adding something in here. Let's like, if you take a bevel and then inset and then extrude. Okay, now if we want to do different sharpening inside here, we don't have to add a bunch of new edge loops to get it to work not with open subdivisions we don't with turbo smooth we would okay so let's take a look at this and let's actually delete the open subdivs for now and we'll go into a modifier called decrease set and here we can just create different sets of creases that we want and this just makes it a lot easier to manage i think so like here we can just say these four things these four edges I'm selecting under there that I don't want. I want those four edges and we'll just say create set. Whoops. We name it edge group one create set. Okay. Now when we put the open subdivisions on, turn up the iterations. Okay. So that group is now right there and it's it's showing with the crease on it and of course we can still go in here and change the crease up and down like this so we still have full control over it so this is more of a non-destructive way to add in detail without doing heavy heavy modifications on your geometry which can get very messy right and so we can we can actually go back to this and select any of these edges we want i want these ones Say outer loop. I don't know what to name them. Okay, it's defaulting to one as the crease. So if we are showing end result again, outer loop can be soft 
or hard. I actually like it soft like that. That's cool. And then the edges, I think this is where it turned off the show end result. This is where we can get some crisper ones going on. Okay, it just defaulted to edge set. Whatever. I don't know what to name it. You guys get the point. Preset. In, now, if we turn this one to one, then we get those harder edges. And it looks like we'd want to turn up the iterations more, like this. Okay, so this is this would be pretty complicated to do with edge sets or with, sorry, with edge loops because you'd get a whole bunch of new geometry going up back in here. And not only that, but it's very hard to edit and change and modify. And it's also very hard to like UVW unwrap. Anytime you get a lot of complex geometry going on, it just makes it harder to do anything else. So keeping it simple like this and non-destructive so you can go back to it is... Uh, pretty cool. So we will make use of that as we're doing our projects. Hopefully that makes sense though. Difference between Turbo Smooth and Open Subdivs is that Turbo Smooth you explicitly tell it using edges, uh, geometry that you add, how to smooth, how sharp to smooth around a corner by putting the edge loops closer or farther apart. Here you are just setting each edge to have its own crease value and then the Open Subdivisions figures it out, meaning you don't have to add extra geometry to get sharp, sharp edges. Now it can't do everything on its own without any new geometry. You do need to make sure there's enough geometry so that it can kind of understand what's going on. So like in here, for example, we're getting some, well, this one's not bad, but if you went and added a little more geometry for it to help figure it out, you know, if you have stretching or something like that going on, but don't do so much that it negates the benefit of the open subdivisions. Okay, so that's really cool. That's an interesting little shape that we were able to, a little detail we are able to add in there quite easily by just using creases and the crease set modifier. So that's open subdivisions. I'm sure we'll cover this more as we are starting to create actual projects, which is coming right up.